Hmm. Her Excellency was also very supportive of the whole thing. Mm. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Seems like a meaningful cause. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero? Although sadly probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you know, bits and pieces. Nothing concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. Oh? <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. We'd certainly love to help if we can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Does... Miss Hina look familiar to you at all? I have this strange feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Oh dear. Oh! <clears throat> um... But you don't remember where? <laughs> uh, she probably just looks similar to someone you know. Like how the Traveler looks similar to her brother. There's no mystery here. Don't overthink it. Ah, I see. There's a big mystery uh, that here. That does make sense. Traveler, let's get out of here. No, what do you mean? I wonder... Does he just not remember, or... Is he like it's... I know... If I remember correctly, yeah, he's the one that turns him into that, but... Does that form have its own memories, or does he not remember it once it's done? Uh, what's the deal here? It was a very curious. Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya. Traveler, Paimon! Cool, you're here too! I mean, it wasn't that long. You did fake getting shot than the last time I saw you. <laughs> well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Oh, that's true. Obviously, traveling's very important to you, but you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. Oh. Of course! Oh, I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys! So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone, how amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once, not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short. But assuming this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone repeatedly without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, a, a... what? A canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? Okay, well, if it wasn't sung on Amiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate. Right. So, in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? 
kind of like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. Hey, there you are. I sent you some letters a few days ago. Have they shown up yet? Ooh, does this mean you figured it out? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. I don't have anything conclusive yet, but I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find what I need. In the meantime, you'll just have to be patient. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, but I knew Ito was performing tonight, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, wow! Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. Will the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hanamizaka? Putting a lot of pressure on my mom here. <laughs> I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Cut it out, both of you! No more stupid nicknames! Yeah, you called emergency food. Sharem, I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma, so I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. Light novels plus rock music, so... Light rock! <laughs> I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about Onikabuto instead. Should be more up Ito's alley. This event couldn't have happened without him. It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. What? You got rid of the dog? But wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? Yes, but that's all it was. The initial inspiration. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto, or you, or me, or anything else. It's the spirit of it that counts. Spirit? What do you mean? Um, the spirit of rock and roll? Okay, should have seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. Ah, uh, fair enough. Alright, well, speaking of enjoying music, is it all paimon has got to get practicing, or Bull Checker's gonna hog the spotlight tonight! By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. Ooh, let's see now. What's this song called? I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down? What sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, actually. You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings the song. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bullchucker won't know what hit him. <laughs> she says that with such a big <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.
Tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. It's been a non-stop rock and roll ride this evening, and we're almost at the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage. The illustrious Mr. Arataki Ito and Miss Paimon. The two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called... I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down. Take it away! Shifted into dark. I leave a thief here by bequeath all my mora. Two hundred goes to my pa. Three hundred to dear mama. <laughs> Poor yeah. little General Crab, only a shell remains. Goodbye. Now rest in peace. Please don't cry. Cause we'll get reborn as a beta next time. Only cover to raise your heart. Here's to a world beyond the storm. So that's rock music, huh? It's a little different than I imagined. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? <laughs> okay, Bulge Hugger, you got owned and you know it. Oh, stop it, you two. I think both of you are sensational. Here, here. <laughs> really mind-blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Aw, uh, you think? Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? You get stripped the floor. Bye, man. My gullible little melon. You don't really believe that, do you? She just didn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Let's not argue anymore, shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. <laughs> don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. The spirit of rock and roll? So, what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? It means you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, could you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> An unofficial definition? I don't know that one exists. It's an emotional experience, as though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is 
Uh, well, like the Onikabuto in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. Guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> what about you, Yoimiya? Oh, well, I thought it was gonna be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so, uh... Was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war. Which means the world is at peace. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. Me? Uh, I hadn't given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes Boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping Narutaki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. Paimon agrees that you don't need to worry. Otherwise, Hazen definitely would have arrested Ido by now. <laughs> Wait, where is that guy anyway? And where did Kokumi and Goro go? Oh, Doshin Shikanoin had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. But he did leave something for you. It's over there. As for the other two, they couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. They did ask me to pass on their regards, though. The fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. Ito, what can I say? It's truly been an honor to work with you. <laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. A lot of people only showed up because they knew she'd be here. If we do this again, we gotta make sure to find a way to get her on stage. How's that sound, compadre? Get that rock and roll spirit ready, because next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off! Uh, your Excellency, I believe the Tenryo Commission detective is... Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between us and the Yashiro Commission. If we can maintain secrecy, then... All the better for it. But that was never the main goal. We saved some lives, and that's what matters. I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we've saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda finds out, it could cause an uproar. Don't worry. There might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Really? How? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm, I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, you should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. Miss Hina? What makes you say that? I hear she works for a That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular, pretty, and she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need as you are. So, it looks like you have some competition. <clears throat> Understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. learned something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. Miko, a few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I just assumed you must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. I've never heard the name 
Arataki before. But they must be one of my subjects, and so I thought, why not grant them their wish? Ah, so you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? So tell me, how do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. The war? I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. Hmm. But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? If it cannot be avoided, then... I will have no choice but to fight. Hmm. Well, if that day comes, I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side. Hey, Traveler. Thanks again for all your help. Everything went perfectly. I think I'm gonna stay here for a while and just enjoy the scenery. Sure, no problem. Be my guest. Oh, rhythms are pretty hard to get for me to do, but... General Goro of the Watatsumi Island Resistance ready and waiting. I've long heard of- Shit, I am upset. 
I really don't know how to use this crown though, because I got two of them. Oh yeah, her. Wait, that's... yeah. Twenty years. Let's see here. Uh huh. Top dog Goro. Where did you hear that? Uh, well, to be honest, I've grown quite close with my fellow officers and always share any good news I might have with them. In private, they've all started calling me Top Dog out of respect. But in terms of age, they're all my seniors. <laughs> hmm, I'm afraid that most of my days have been spent on the battlefield, so there's not much to tell about me. But if you'd really like to hear my stories, I'm happy to sit down and tell you everything. Damn. Today's a momentous occasion. Your birthday. Allow me to arrange all the celebrations for you. We can make a bonfire on the beach and catch some fresh fish and crabs. Oh, I'll personally prepare a morale-boosting meal that would make even the highest-ranking generals jealous. Mm, that's quite a boast. I love mountain climbing. The steeper, the better. Climbing trains my body and mind, making me stronger with every grip and every foothold. Better yet is climbing mountains with fellow companions. After hours of dirt and sweat scaling the summit, we can sit down and enjoy the view together. It's one of life's greatest joys. <clears throat> However, I uh, have absolutely no desire to scale the tallest peak in Inazuma. Why, are you afraid of meeting the fox? I don't like to enter battle wearing lots of heavy equipment. I travel light. That's my style. My strength is in moving quickly around the battlefield, seeking out opportunities to take control of the fight. I always target the strongest warriors first to weaken the enemy's morale. I've heard that there's a mountain range in Lima that reaches all the way up into the clouds. Ah, <sighs> I'd relish a chance to go climbing there. Hmm. I think there is a place that high. Uh, stay alert! Ah, my tail's getting wet. Let's find a fire and dry off. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> These... Conditions are unsuitable for outdoor maneuvers. It'd be nice to just lie in the sun. <clears throat> but I must set an example for the others. A strong body shows strength and instills confidence in others around you. I must always stay at the top of my game. The fighting has ceased for now. Commence physical training. Keep your weapon at the ready. You never know what's around the corner. We can attack downwind and press the advantage, or bolster our courage and fight upwind. Hmm. If there's anything ever troubling you, don't keep it all muzzled up inside. You can always speak your mind with me. Although I can't guarantee that I'll always have an answer, I'll certainly offer you my best advice. Even when I can't muster much of a response, you can always count on me to be a good listener. Whatever it is, I'm all ears. <sighs> There are times when being lightly armored has its shortcomings. For example, I have to be particularly careful of my tail when the enemy attacks with fire. Yeah, you don't want to get it singed. My favorites are cake and tricolor dongo, probably because I seldom get the chance to enjoy the luxury of sweets. The rations we have in the field are intended to be simple, effective, and quick, and are seldom served with any seasonings at all, let alone sugar. It's probably the most precious commodity of all. Uh, what can I say? I guess I just have a sweet tooth. Mm. I'll pretty much eat anything, but onions are an exception. 
One time, the logistics division added ground onion to my food, and I, uh, bawled in front of everyone, right there at the mess table. <sighs> Talk about embarrassing. The soldiers from logistics felt terrible about it, too. <laughs> I've become powerless in the face of sweets. Oh, I feel invigorated. Is there anything I can help you with? I, it's a little spicier than I expected. I don't think I can keep going. Do you want to hear what he has to say about the fox, though? Oh, man. Right. used to the place at the If you ever have any... How do I... Edit things around here? I don't remember. How the hell did I do this? Alright. Alright, let's see what you gotta say there. Also, get out of the wall. Put you right there. You're back! So, what's up? Everything all right? Yeah, you bet! Don't worry, I'm exceedingly good at adapting to new environments. There have been times in the past when I've had to make do with a rock for a pillow or just find a patch of grass to lie down on. In the army, you learn how to sleep well wherever you are. <laughs> Why would you think that? If your bowstring is always drawn tight, it will eventually snap. Relaxation is an essential part of improving as a fighter. So as far as I'm concerned, this place is the perfect antidote to the tension of battle. Which brings me to you. I wanted to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude for everything you've done for me. Thank you. You've always been genuine with me. It truly warms my heart. Oh, anyway, don't worry. I'm not here to just take advantage and lounge around. I'm ready to switch to combat mode at a moment's notice. Hey, you're back. So, what's up? Everything all right? Morning. I've completed my training for the day. 
If you plan on leaving now, then let me accompany you. Nice, one more thing. Hey, you're back. So, what's up? Everything all right? Yeah, you bet. Don't worry, I'm exceedingly good at adapting to new environments. There have been times in the past when I've had to make do with a rock for a pillow or just find a patch of grass to lie down on. Huh, it seems so. Time of peace is hard to come by. I will cherish every moment of it. Which brings me to you. I wanted to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude for everything you've done for me. Thank you. You've always been genuine with me. It truly warms my heart. Oh, anyway, don't worry. I'm not here to just take advantage and lounge around. I'm ready to switch to combat mode at a moment's notice. I wonder how fluffy his tail feels. Who's our next target? Oh, you. Yeah. I remember getting you. Yeah. I really did spend a lot recently. Only ten more are left. <laughs> Still, ten more is better than no Mora. But it's bound to run out sooner or later. It was never Ayaka or Ayato's intention to make me the housekeeper. I volunteered. I like this kind of work. Putting everything in order gives me a great sense of achievement. And based on everyone's reactions, yeah, I think I do a pretty good job. Mm. As far as food is concerned, I'm fine with anything. If we're counting beverages, though, I'm not very good with alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> don't laugh. And before you say it, yes. I've wondered what this says about my identity as a Mondstadter. But, you know, too much alcohol is bad for you anyway. So, not drinking is a good thing. You're <laughs> for Mondstadt, <laughs> see? Oh, I, I don't think I've ever tasted anything like this. Oh, it, it's not too bad, though. Hey, how come you're eating here all alone? Uh, is it okay if I join you? Or did you just want some space? <laughs> now what else is there to do is... I got what I wanted from the event, which was... The, which was Goro. Which was you. I'm not sure what else to do now. Ah, I already did that. Sure. Ah. Oh. Oh, gee, twelve. Twelve to get the hair story on, oh boy. Well, I think this is where I'm going to call quits.